I have coffee. We're right back where we were. Because all I did was watch the YouTube video and make coffee. That's it. You hear some tinkling like this. It's just me stirring my coffee. Because I need coffee. Anyways, let's continue. There's still a chance that some Imperials are holed up inside the castle and we'll need to search at top to bottom to make sure it's safe. In the meantime, I want you to rendezvous with the main host. Keep your weapon at the ready. There's a chance you might come face to face with some soldiers on the run and route. On second thought, it might be prudent for you to do a preemptive sweep of the region for soldiers that have gone to ground. You, we shouldn't afford them any time to regroup and launch a counterattack. When you judge your work to be done, uh, report to General Aldin at, um, at Bitter Mill. Hey fellas. Day paralysis. I just noticed something. Yeah, I'm level 70 anyway. Stuff. I don't know if this is VO'd. It's not. We can turn the volume down. Well met. All's well at the bridge. Good, good. The fighting has died down here, too, as you can see. I've been left but a moment ago with a contingent of troops to occupy Veladina. If and when the Imperials return, they'll find us dug in behind their own walls. I could not have hoped for a better outcome, General. Splendidly done. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. It'll take more than one castellum to turn the tide. My men and I will deal with the remaining enemy forces. Science, I bid you return to Commander Kemp and his men. Delight not over much in victory. 
not when there are battles left to fight. Our work here is finished. Our, re our resistance allies are waiting. I can't believe how loud that is. I suppose because this is like a weird bridge outpost thing, that's why it's called a castleum instead of a castrum. <clears throat> Back so soon, I hope, suppose the general's men had matters well in hand. Uh, the Vice Admiral and his men showed up not long ago after you left. If the gods are good, there will be no one left to fight. I don't know what you would like just as much for you to assume your march east towards Peaks. I know you're not one for waiting, uh, but if you bear with us. Commander Kemp, Marshal Tarpin reports that the sweep of the castle interior has been completed. So it's finally over, eh? Pray extend to him my deepest thanks. It's official then. Castle and Veladina as well, and Julia. Mayhap this calls for. Wait, where's Benago? She took her bird and flew off towards the Pyrian Stones, the village of the M tribe, where she was born. I doubt the Imperials who fled Veladina had a mind to give them trouble on their way back east, but she was nevertheless worried, so I gave her leave to go and see that her people are safe. Though I pray you are right, it would be best if Minaga was not alone if she would encounter the enemy. Agreed. Let's all go to the Pyrian Stones and make sure that everything's all right. Let's go get another eighth right. <laughs> If that's your wish, then I have no objections. Just let the god know when you're ready wish to cross. Because for some reason they can't just have a door that opens. Green Sion, do you wish to pass? Yes. So why are why are people looking at a wall here? This is actually a beast tribe quest. Long story, you might see it later. Hobby, I'm going to appear in Stone's Kiss. Bye. How do we get up there again? I think there's a path around here somewhere. Oh, there's Lease. Path to the village is through a tunnel just east of here. Follow me. She went this way. Oh, there's a path. And then tried use uh, with a fate. Here's our path marker, Alpha No and Alize, and an M tried Ranger.
This is an etherite which we attune to. Because it's an etherite. You attune to every single etherite. If you do not attune to, to every single etherite, you will regret everything. Oh. Also a chocobo keep. Because you never know, you might need one. My home. How fare your people? Good, all things considered. Better than the Ananta at any rate. They've sent an emissary. I'll take you to her. We're here to help. Will you tell us what happened? Aye. It began with a quarrel between the Imperials and the Kaliana. The Kaliana are another Ananta tribe. The strongest and the most influential. Unlike the Vera, they want no part of our troubles. They swore fealty to the Empire, and were content to remain within their borders. Just so, the Kaliana forsook their pride in the fight and yielded to Garlemald long ago. But then a new commander was sent to hold the Black Bridge. She demanded the Kaliana surrender a hostage, this butcher. Dola. It doesn't make sense, though. The Vera are the ones working with the Resistance. Why would she threaten the Kaliana? Because she is ignorant like all Imperials. She knows not the difference between Kaliana and Vera, nor does she care to learn. I see. All Fadola knew for sure was that the Resistance would come from the West. She reasoned, therefore, that if the Ananta on the East Bank turned their coats, she would be trapped. I take it the Kaliana had no choice but to oblige her. No, they did not. The Imperials left with the Kaliana broodmother's own daughter, Anamika. Long days and nights, she looked out on the Black Bridge weeping for her child until you came. The brood mother knew at once which way the winds would blow. She and her warriors met with the fleeing Imperials in the road and demanded that her daughter be returned. Bad idea. Fordola's not the kind to take threats lying down. You know her well. The Butcher turned her blade to Anamika and bade the Kaliana move aside, but the Brood Mother would not yield. I know where this is going. The Kaliana surrounded the Imperials, one of whom, whether out of fear or stupidity, cut the child down. There was naught that could be done. What madness. The true madness was yet to come. For in her despair, the Kaliana broodmother cried out for her daughter to be restored to life. She beseeched Sri Lakshmi's intercession. She summoned a primal then and there? That she did if only for an instant. Bereft of courage and honor, the broodmother sought solace in her faith. The Imperials fled in terror at the sight of the goddess, abandoning these lands to the Ananta.
Now the Kaliana bid us make pilgrimage to pay proper respects. Yet though we Vera revere Sri Lakshmi as the holiest of the holy, we will not prostrate ourselves before her. And so you turn to us? I. All who have fought with the Resistance have heard tell of the warrior, the Icon Slayer. Then it turns to me. Really ask us to be like, I believe we're we have heard here. enough. Inconvenient though the timing may be, if a primal has indeed been summoned, we can scarce afford to ignore it. We must needs discuss how best to resolve this situation. I've never heard this story too many times. Ahem. At the risk of sounding hopelessly naive, there may yet be a way to avoid a violent confrontation. In the past, I fear I have been rather too willing, willing to accept that we have no re other recourse than to risk our lives, or rather your life, to address these threats. Yet the primals we have faced thus far have demonstrated a variety of temperaments and objectives. Ravana may delight in battle, but Ramu was, would sooner keep to the forest with his children. Ere we decide to challenge Sri Lakshmi, we should seem wise to learn more of her nature for those who summoned her into this world. If that is your will, then so be it. To the north you will find our village, Sarashi, Sarisha. We shall unfold all. You shall leave at once. Monago, can you inform our comrades at the, at the bridge of what happened? Of course. Be safe, my friends. What's this? It's an Aether A quest. Pick it up. I need to, because I'm focusing on main story. Uh, there we are. Am I supposed to do something else with these guys? That I wasn't doing. These burlap saps and weekends. Oh. 
Well, shit. In case there's any other current here. So. Well, I didn't need to kill those. <laughs> That's all right. Back to this Ananta Broodmother. We do not often receive guests. This is the... What is the purpose of your visit? Greetings and well met. We are the signs of the Seven Dawn, and we have come uh, seeking Sarisha of the Vera. You are she, are you not? You have petitioned us for aid and succor, and we intend to provide them. But we are first. We would first learn more of Sri Lakshmi, that we might better understand the nature of the threat she poses to you. A simple request and one which I shall gladly oblige. In the beginning was Sri Lakshmi. We were created in her image. Daughters, blessed with her beauty, her breath became ours. Her serenity, our solace. There is nothing she would give, not give. Hmm. It was the Kalyana's broodmother's desire to bring about her daughter's resurrection, which first called forth Sri Lakshmi, from the ether, that being the case, I rather doubt the goddess would be spoiling for a fight. That would depend. The primal's motives will have been coloured by the summoner's state of mind, namely that of a grieving mother who have had borne witness to her daughter's murder. Though she apparently craved a miracle, she may also have harboured thoughts of vengeance. Moreover, the Kalyana's uh, conception of Sri Lakshmi may differ from that of the Vira. This is true. The Vera and the Kalyana do indeed re regard the Lady of Bliss in different ways. In the Vera, Sri Lakshmi emboldens freedom. She would not suffer her daughters to be bound to another's will, and so we stand with the resistance against the Empire and give our lives for the cause. In the Kalyana, however, she embodies transcendental beauty, which they strive to create through their craft. To shape crystal is less, less art, more ritual, a sacred duty wherein in each tribute is imbued with a fragment of the soul. The Imperials do not interfere with this holy work, and so the Kalyana were content to turn inward and ignore our plight. Until reality asserted itself, and they summoned a primal, a fever, a fever dream to soothe their aching hearts. But surely they can see that it won't do any good. The Imperials will still rule these lands. Nothing will change. The Ananta will. The Kalyana bade the Vera make pilgrimage to pay proper respects, remember. Those who do not wish to partake with the Primal's bliss will be made to do so. Not while we're around, they won't. Though our beliefs are not the same, we are still kin in the Kalyana. Will you help them to see reason? Know that I'll kill your god if I have to. Maybe even if I don't. Do what you will, warrior. The simulacrum is not Sri Lakshmi. She realizes this. If we do not act quickly, more, more lives will be lost, more families torn apart, more children made to suffer. Then it is settled. We are going to find that primal and put an end to this. My sister Valdra will guide you to Dijana Kat, and I shall pray for your success. Well met Cyan, Cyan Vadra, she, she who shines bright and unbroken. I stand ready. We leave upon your command. What is this? That's peace. We are ready, hmm? We look ready. Uh, Jean Janan cannot uh, cut here. There you find the Kalyana's crystals and Sri Lakshmi. Follow me.
Grab Ether Grand Crest. And put it to sleep. There we are. What's the route to get there? I need to travel through here. I'm like, this isn't the time to worry about time. We don't have the time. John Cut, the path leads to the entrance above. With this as an aetherite, you must use it to enter. Understood. With me, everyone. Here it is. Shit. There we are. Someone got it and uh, went AFK. It's really the only reason why someone would be standing on this rock. Um, Merit saw me. That Kaliana saw me. I believe this is VO'd. There's Sri Lakshmi. Sri Lakshmi. That's Sri, it's Sri. Why, mistress? Why does my Anamika slumber still? Because she's dead. I just reanimated her corpse. Look thee on her face, supplicant. Thy prayer hath been answered. Flesh sundered hath been made whole. Blood spilt runneth through her veins. Breath stolen filleth her breast. But she hears not her mother's words, nor sees her mother's face. She... she is silent. And empty. Only the vessel may be remade. Not so the flame which flickered within. Her soul hath been scattered to the four winds. Now do you see her promises for what they are? Alizé, have you gone mad? 
Mayhap I have, but I refuse to stand by and watch yet another tragedy unfold. Who intrudes upon this sacred ground? Imperials, thirsting for blood! No! We come not to shed blood, but to save you from the false god who would lead you astray. I understand how you feel. I do. You loved her with all your heart, but when the moment came, you still couldn't save her. The anguish, the anger, I know it only too well. But I also know where this path leads. To embrace a primal is to condemn yourself to an endless cycle of despair. You will never know peace. A worm-eaten heart may find peace and serenity in service. In beauty and grace, this hath ever been my promise. Naught else. You tempt them with visions of things that can never be and leave them bereft and... No illusion, however sweet, can change the fact that your daughter is gone. Remember her as she was. Do not suffer this piteous shade to tarnish her memory. For every prayer that Primal answers, it'll demand payment in kind. Do you have any idea how many more Ananta will die to feed its hunger for crystals? They would have thee suffer man's spite and live in fear. Far better to dwell in my beauteous dream than endure so ugly a reality. She's wrong! We hate the Empire as much as you, if you just listen! Poor misguided children. I would spare you the torments of this cruel and misshapen world. Come, bask in my radiance. Let it fill your hearts and free you from your burdens. It's just cheaper to uh, animate the uh, clothing and the, the, the kind of like hovering that she has there in the uh, in her mouth than to have her arm arms animated. Because I don't know about you, but during this entire time, her arms, her, basically her, everything but her mouth and the fact that she's bobbing up and down uh, in levitation uh, has been in the same exact position. Can you hold this for as long as we've been talking? No, I don't think so. Reason is, paper did to have the animation of the fact that she's floating and talking. That's it. She hasn't even blinked once. Of course, she's also a primal, so she's not real, so she probably doesn't have any of those problems. <laughs> Tempering! Abide in misery then, fools. The Ananta are more deserving of my blessing. Leave these lands and my dreamers be. I will not warn you a second time. I'll be back and I'm march off <laughs> or stay here. That, that, that's head cannon wise. We're going to go through a little conversation here. Instead, it's just no one's telling me what I need to do. I know what I need to do. I need to go in there and beat the crap out of uh, Sri Lakshmi. She has uh, certain things I need to check on. Cause it's been a while since Sri Lakshmi. <laughs> I know, I know, it was stupid and foolish, but, but I had to try, Iskos, I had to. 
had to try and I failed. You have to fight. There's no other way. I will wake them from the dream. Never stop trying. Problems can't be suffered to live. You know this. <laughs> Maybe so, but every time you must t turn to you and others like you to do what you cannot, I just wish there was another way. We can but do what with that which within a, is within our power. Lise, Alphano, and I will go and seize the crystal stores. This will not happen again. And you, when it is finished, we will be waiting for you. Emanation. I wonder if you're here. I just, I just need like a reminder. I don't need to watch a video again, I don't think. I just, I, what I need is a written guide. This, okay, here's a problem I have with the Final Fantasy community, or at least from what I can tell, there's no like easy place that I can find a written guide. Because sometimes you don't need to watch a video; you just need like written that you can comp completely glance through and like double check how th how things are how things go and as far as i can tell i have not seen one of these all of them are watch a video watch a video yes watch a video if this is your first time watch a video so you can see it it's great but if you just need to like have a quick review of how it works because you're doing it again it's Meanwhile, the WoW community has, like, WoWhead has written guides. You'll actually see, like, you go watch a video and say, go see our written guide here, or our written guides, and it gives a link in the video. And then whenever you need to, to get a refresher, you can do that. Also, one of the great things that WoW has is the Dungeon Journal, which doesn't give you everything, but it gives you some of the main points about the fight that you still have to take care of. Obviously, there's additional things such as uh, 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 boss mods and, and such like that, that. But outside of that, if you were just doing this completely uh, 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 add-onless, you, you were basically trying to, to, to just do everything as if, uh, as if it was uh, uh, Final Fantasy XIV. I mean, without any sort of add-ons, you would easily be able to to have the okay, getting a timeout here. Nation. Is this is what I'm trying to go to? I don't want a, a video guide. I just want a written guide. Premiere. And it doesn't feel like they have... Life and past life. Or real. 
We used a lot of damage. Okay, cool. I found one. Come on, come on. <laughs> effect like, effect sex of I, IV uh, fans. Uh, give me these sight and uh, look. Uh, uh, fandom. Work with fandom, like or, or fandom. Just to talk with fandom. Fandom. Hey, you know what? Wowhead. Can we do that for Final Fantasy? You know, maybe not the whole. Uh, uh, maybe we don't necessarily have the the data mining part of everything, but. Like, Gamer Escape needs to just, like, join fandom. <laughs> we, we need the wow head of, of FX, FFXIV. And I have to say that, that Gamer Escape, it's not enough, man. I don't, I don't think it's... I, I get a lot of stuff from... Uh, uh, the the gamer shape uh, Final Fantasy fourteen section, but oh so bad it's it's awful looking. There's lots of ads, which is mainly because they need to do things. And Wowhead has lots of ads, which can be kind of problematic. But there's also things like you could like subscribe and actually like pay a monthly subscription and. And get rid of the ads. I would totally buy that, even because I think I think Wowhead is like a couple bucks a month or something. It's not much. I think to level fifty-eight or sixty-eight, you use rail to lower the damage. So on the pull of light and. Path of Light. That's that's the things I, I want to do. Not to be confused <laughs> with the path uh, with the Paul of Light. <laughs> I think part of this is I don't want to to like pull up a video and be playing that over and mute the entire stream while I watch a video. It's just weird. Anyways, one thing I could do while I'm here. Is while I'm waiting because we got about 13 minutes. Is we can uh, work on our Aether Current uh, quests and getting Aether Currents to get flying here out in the fringes. Uh, L. No, not L. J. I keep wanting to do L because that's. Um, Oh, I am the fringes. Fringes. I've got three quests. I think one of them is main is main scenario one. So I got to wait for that. I only have three more because I already got the rest of them. So I am a little bit ahead of the game. Yeah. So I think I just have these uh, two quests and uh, three more actual ether currents uh, to find.
Oh, okay. Pretty easy. Use the button shortly after the ads are gone to the beginning of the fight in which you move to the center of the platform. Or center is spelled with an RE because of reasons. Okay, so let's let's see about these uh So let's go back to the let's just port back to the Pyrian Stones. How's our question nearby? I need to weaken the uh, Teloceros's. Okay, capture him in bags. Little Olivelle weakening a big old mo monster and throwing in a burlap sack. Love it. It's hilarious. There you are. I'm doing it right this time. I suppose this is one of the things where they just made it larger just because when you're fighting it, it's just easier to deal with. If it's larger, the animal may actually be a lot smaller. There you go. Head to the Vera hunting grounds. Oh, they're rocking away. There it is. Then, then, then we'll take a look at, for those other things. Please wait if you would listen, it was just a moment. Ah, oh, keep that thing away from me. If they won't listen to anything I have to say, would you go after him and explain his people are trespassing? I must tend to my wounds. I just I, I just want to talk. I just this can be, I wasn't planning on like hurting you or anything, just just saying Oh, that's all we're going to go. We'll go this way. Got to realize there's a difference between the Ananta and the Vera. Or, or the uh, Kaliana and the Vera. I mean, don't give me that, that crap of they all look the same. If they're not attacking you, don't attack them first. Because if you don't know, maybe be prepared. And if they start talking and be like, I'm Vera and blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay, that's great. <laughs> you, know? you, you're trying to help that, that thing, aren't you? What do you want? Oh, she's a Vera. She's fine. She's helping with the resistance. Great. They only wanted us to leave their hunting grounds. So they're not savage monsters uh, looking to feast on our innards. I see. Uh, sorry about that before. Not every day you see something like that where it came from. Me and my friends are from a small village in the peaks, you see, and with the Garleans plucking all, always in and out of the place, we've never traveled far. Now that we're mostly gone, we thought we would take a look around, maybe scavenge a bit of food. 
It didn't mean no harm, man. It's, it's all the same. We'll even go look for food somewhere far, far away from here. <laughs> If worse comes worse, uh, you know, maybe uh, stop by Gardania. You'll probably find some sucker there. I'm going to say, say S-U-C-C-O-R has an unfortunate pronunciation. <laughs> Because it's pronounced just like S U C K E R. <laughs> this is one of the, the problems. I probably could have just queued as a healer and had an instant pop because both my astrologian and my monks are level 70 right now. Uh, returned. Were they willing to listen? Uh, <laughs> meant for the peaks. Interesting. We were considering concerned the M-Tribe may have coerced them into stealing from our land. My sisters are, will be relieved to hear this. These people are desperate enough to venture here for food. Perhaps we can help them. A deal of some kind. A share of our food stores in exchange for materials for our gem crafting. Yes, that will be a fair trade. We'll need to discuss this with my sisters. The beginning of a fruitful partnership may be a hand. Actually, I wonder. Oh, let's go to the Pyrrhon Stones. This is another thing. The Council Game Wiki, which has, has all the inf important information that I want, is... Oh. oh that's too bad. Okay. It's currently having connection issues. Why aren't you on Fandom? <laughs> Damn it. I love this game. Don't get me wrong. But liability, <laughs> the reliability of resources has been thin. Maybe with the upswing of popularity of Final Fantasy XIV... Maybe like websites and such will start getting uh, <laughs> improving, getting more money into improving to help. Oh my god, it's not working. On. Yeah, Ether Current. App. Bridges. Where is it? Here we are. Maybe this will help. No, this does not. Oh, well, actually, this might help a little bit. Okay, I got that one. I think I got that one. Is that one? We have that one. Six. Five sixty-two. It's a current. So I should have just one remaining, which I think is uh, fringes, which I think is part of the main story quest. Cool. All right. Six twenty-five twenty-six. Found a map on another website. <laughs> kind of don't want to use it because of what there is like more. <laughs> um, go this way. Right around here. 
There it is. I uh, might pull this ant lion. Yep. All good. This dark knight will help out. Let's get rid of it. Thank you. Where else do I want? I have. Okay, I don't. That's not what I want. Uh, I got two more. All on the fringes, so. Yeah, these two. Okay. Eight, nine. I got 10. So. Next one's a nine. I don't know why. The order of their numbering is weird. That's all right. 29, 28. Yeah, the Acer compass kind of guided me along the way. Southeast. I bet it's on that plateau. There. Can I get up there? Wait, wait. I could up here somewhere. There it is. There's a dar nearby. Oh, there's two daras. Okay. One at a time. All right, thirty-four thirty. Shit. Well, there's a fire drop, so. It's thirty-four thirty. This should be my last day of the garden theory, all right? Yes. Flight, flight. We're still in queue. I'll be. Uh... There it is. Uh... Distance thing, maybe. I don't even know what this place is. Uh, you're doing squats kind of fast there. I'm not sure if you should. Uh, these beasts have that burrow underground and lie in wait and pray. Uh, gotta just keep it nimble. Like, so it's not to get caught by one. <clears throat> okay, I think you're overdoing it, dude. Calm down. I patted him. Like, dude. But it's probably look. Uh, uh, calm down, Suze. There we go. You wear yourself out that you're not gonna be nimble enough. Okay, I got the eighth occurrence all here. Now let's go back to the uh, not Ruby C to Yangsha. Actually, I could pop over to the peaks because I have four, I think there's five. Since I'm here, let me pop over to the peaks. Get ahead of the game on that one. 
Here I am trying to speed through things, and it's been like 20 minutes of me being in queue for emanation, but at least I'm working on the Aether Current, so that's a plus side. Okay. Uh... Eeks. Actually, I'm going to go back to Gangsha just because I know that I can complete that. Expensive, but hey. Look, I got two tanks. I got two DPS, uh, four DPS, or three other DPS. We just need the healer, so it's fine. Everything's fine here. Okay, I'm gonna see if my original source I can get back to. Try it again. It's 225 yalms, or yalms to the west. The Wait. I have four Aether Current quests, which I think I have. Yeah. Let's work on those while we're at it. Oh, well, that's right. We were doing the thing with the cage. We got interrupted with Doma Castle, I think. Yeah. Uh, this is... And select it. Flap. There they are. <clears throat> oh, these I could turn in uh, are lower level, so I could turn them in on. Lower level class. Okay, cool. Ah! Right there. Okay. Do that. Maybe that will help. We have. Uh, pop some food for good measure. So if anything, I just need to get uh, my red mage and uh, uh, gunbreaker to level 70 to match everything, and then I'll be uh, working on simultaneously leveling them up. Main story is still doing doing the thing, but offline I'll uh, run trust dungeons to, to level them, which actually works pretty well, uh, and is great for getting gear when I need it. Okay. He popped. But if anything, I finished a quest. <laughs> there you go. And I'll be uh, teleported to the other side of the world! <laughs> I'll be very upset if
There'll be certain things. Well, I'll I'll definitely do as monk just because of theme. I'm going to say this is my first time to the team, just so they know, even though I've done this before, but I've literally, I, I think I've only done this one or two times, and that was a long time ago. <laughs> All right. I have one Vril. Oh, who, who's who's the uh, target? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> the Gunbreaker's first time here. Damn it! <laughs> Not what you want. A tank who's first time. <laughs> let, let the Dark Knight lead? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Even random letter gibberish. <laughs> Just hit enter, uh, smash the keyboard, and hit enter again, okay? I, I feel like, like if Tressa knows what's going... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tressa main tank, if he's his new... <laughs> the off tank is new here. Well, I, I got paralyzed. Oh, shit. Ah! There we are. No, don't move. What's you get in a spot which minimizes? <laughs> Just stop. That's all right. Uh, I need. I want view frill again, just so I have it stacked. Where's the samurai? I don't even see the samurai. Why is the samurai uh, uh, ahead? Uh, I need I need Varel. There we are.
I believe I need real. Let's see if we can survive this. Where, where can I get to? Okay. There we go. <laughs> Positioning that AOE is difficult. Okay. I need Varel. Give me Varel. Thank you. Thank you. This might this might take a while because I think we got a bunch of new people. Yeah, healer LB3, I think it was probably appropriate. Get people to, uh... Yay! I don't have the thing. Uh, what's a good, um, uh, a little bit off. Oh, I got Vril. Okay. I'm good on the Vril. Having Vril is a good thing. Do we have everybody up? Am I, am I got a thing? No? Okay, cool. Guess what I'm doing.
since everybody was up, we're not going to use the healer LB3. Better positioning. Mm. Actually, might have been needed to use Braille for that. Oh, or that. There we go. All right. Teleporting to the other side of the world. Because I was in Yangsha. I'm back in your Garabanya. You did it again. You saved him. I just wish I could have been more helpful. Sorry, you don't have the echo, so you'd be susceptible. It's fine. I mean, I'm the icon slayer. Of course, I'm the best. This is my job. The VO should have turned it up. Sorry about that. I'll go. But it doesn't mean I'm giving up. Girabania is our home too. And one way or another, we're going to have to learn to live together. Come on. Alphino and Ali's are waiting.
We didn't s slay their god. We slayed an etheric construct. Represent in the form of what they envision their god to be. Not ah, true the savage that. returns, and with her tail firmly between her legs, beaten by beastmen, I hear. It was a shameful display, by all accounts. She may have carried the Viceroy's favor with her bold promises, but in the end, she's just another plodding bungler like the rest of her kind. Strange. You would think him a better judge of character. Then again, I hear she's not averse to a more physical mode of persuasion. <laughs> I thought she rose through the ranks rather quickly, but no longer. If only she had been content with her lot, she might have lived to see the morrow. Fedola Rem Lupis. Commander of the Crania Lupi, reporting as ordered. Why do you tremble so? Could it be that the Empire's butcher is afraid? That she who walks with death is terrified of her own? I'm terrified of dying having achieved naught. Gladly would I give my life to win a great victory on the battlefield, had I but the strength. Alas, you do not. Indeed, you are weak. And born of this weakness is a blind fervor, a raging inferno which threatens to consume not only you, but everyone around you. Yes, my lord. You were defeated by the Resistance on several occasions. You misjudged the Ananta and spurred them into summoning an Icon. Have you anything to say? I do not, my lord. My failures are my own. I am prepared to accept your judgment. And that is very admirable. However, I've had enough of this dumb show. Give voice to that hunger I see in your eyes, or I will pluck them from your head. I... I want... I want to make them pay! All of them! Everyone who ever mocked or looked down on me! I want the power to make them pay! Hmm. Very well. Then I shall give you a chance. A chance to transcend your mortal limits. Assuming, that is, you are prepared to wager your life for such power. Transcend, my lord. I came here prepared to die. Tell me what I must do.
I wish I could have left on better terms, but that was never going to happen. It would be a problem to get their hands on more crystals, though. Never mind, we'll deal with that then when the time comes. I didn't need earrings. Hey, there's the Aether Current. I should be able to fly soon. Makes you, uh, Vajra, and her people no longer live in fear. You have done us a great service this, uh, this day. Long shall my sister sit, this, sing the praises of the Icon Slayer. Let us bear word to them of Sri Lakshmi's passing. Come, friends, to Vira, Vira Nilya. Vira Nilya. Uh, with that, I'm going to do, uh, like, just refresh, beverage refresh, rooms of restrooms. Just a couple minutes. Just stay tuned. Be right here. We're right back. Back. Where am I going? Thank you for turning around. Here we are. Ah, the winds whisper of your success in your eyes confirm their testimony. The Lady of Bliss no longer holds our Kaliana sisters in her thrall. For this, we thank you. Esco said the deed. We were but witness to his heroism. However, I fear this is only the beginning, for there is no cure for that which deprives, drives the desperate to beseech the gods for salvation. Should they wish to use their crystals to summon Sri Lakshmi again, naught can be done to stop them. 
We ignore our sister's plight at, at our peril. This we know. We shall endeavor to show them another path so that the day we speak, you speak of never comes. We're all in this together, Alamegans and Ananta. We understand that, hopefully, in time, they will too. You and yours will be friends with Vera. Oh, on that, you have my word. We, we should be getting back to the Pyramid Stones. Thank you again, uh, Sarisha, for everything. I got Conrad and Pippin. <gasps> Hi, honey. Welcome back, Conrad and uh, Marshall Tarpin. And came in, came in to render aid, but I hear that won't be necessary. It won't. Sri Lakshmi's gone. Ah, but I would should probably start at the beginning. Exposition. Incredible. I don't know what to say. If you hadn't been there to stop her, who knows what, where it would have ended. You've saved a lot of lives. Let's go. Take pride in that. It must be said, this is something of an unprecedented situation. Previous summonings were, to my knowledge, planned well in advance by a pro tribe as a whole. Indeed, there are several aspects of this incident which bear further investigation. In any event, the Kalyana supply of crystals must remain limited for the foreseeable future, and the ambient ether levels closely observed. Understood. The Alliance will consult with the Resistance and the Vera on how best to enforce said restrictions. Thank you, Vice Marshal. No, two other matters, then. What news of the Imperials? None, which itself is troubling. It seems as though the skulls in the remainder of the garrison have fully withdrawn into the peaks. We have seen neither hide nor hair of them since Velodina. Regardless of their reasonings, our path is clear. Father has de decided it is time to advance east. Finally. He was also very emphatic that you must you be spared further duties at the present. You are to rest. It would not, to, not do for the warrior of light to collapse from exhaustion during the march. We may not be as strong or as quick as him, but we are soldiers nonetheless. We can re deal with the Imperials. Aye, you've earned the, the, this respite, so enjoy it. And the same goes for you, Monaco. You've been away from your family too long. Don't deny it. As you say, sir, thank you. We'll make the most of our time here. <laughs> Looks like it's up to me and mine to give you a lot of proper welcome. My mother prepared a special meal for this occasion, and I have it on good authority that that hers is the finest cooking this side of Veladina. Honored guests, I pray you partake in of our humble offerings as we... We give thanks for your va many valiant deeds. Th <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, sorry about that. Thank you, sir, for your wel warm welcome. We are honored to break bread with you and your family. Come, come, eat your fill of food and drink it deep in your spirits. There's more than enough for all. Well, then you put it that way. Don't mind if I do. She wasn't kidding when she said her, her mother could cook. You know, seeing her with her family, I can't help thinking of my own. 
how my father would come home from a hunt of a dinner on her on his shoulder, and Ida would prepare it with herbs and spices. Our mother died when I was little, so she did most of the cooking. We didn't have much, but we had each other, and that was enough for me. And they wouldn't let us have have even that. The Eldric, Gaius, of course, father and Ida had to fight. I would have too if I'd been older, but they didn't have to die. It never ends, does it? They call us beasts, and they treat treat us like them. They push and they push and they until someone pushes back. Until someone takes up arms or or summons a god. A false god. If the twelve are watching us, what are they thinking? What are they thinking when they see the strong and hurt the weak? When people fight and die and nothing gets better. It just goes on and on and on. You'd have to ask them. I don't think the dogs listen to people like me. <clears throat> Thanks for listening. I know I'm just rambling, but I feel better somehow. Who knows what the answers are? Or if there's even there even are any. Either way, life goes on. We've got to go with it. Sorry, that sounded better in my head. I must be getting tired. Time to turn in, I think. Tomorrow's another day. Let's we'll see what it brings. Sleep well, Essigos. There is something to be said for a home-cooked meal, is there not? We must cherish these moments, fleeting as they are. The fight will always be there, waiting for us to return. I don't need earrings. Ta-da! Guess what? I believe I could fly. Alpha no hope so you're ready to rejoin the main host. The toast you are well rested and refreshed. Yes, then let us return to the front. The great, greater part of the, hour, the Alliance forces should have advanced into the peaks by now, and I expect they will pass many of our comrades on the road east. There is a checkpoint along the way, as I recall, and we will need only to identify ourselves to the soldiers in order to pass. Okay, I need, a, I need to do a quick thing. Uh, mute. Cute. Cute. Focus on one quest at a time. Oh, Jesus. I can fly. <laughs> Let's take the shortcut. <laughs> Just fly there. Of course, this is... This is flight just as I don't need it anymore. But there was faster. Sia, it's a pleasure to have you with us again. You'll be happy to hear we have taken Alighieri and have already begun fortifying it as our new base of operations in the peaks. Give a shout to the lad as you pass, hey? Eh? I think it's they didn't want to animate the big doors. That's why they have to talk to the guy so that he can teleport to the other side. I think they got some VO. I remember how they laughed. Alliance and resistance soldiers, eager for battle, trading jokes as we marched east towards the peaks. Beyond this last line of defenses lay the locks and the city. Breaching it would be no small feat. 
But we beat the Imperials back, just like that. And we liberated a village, the first of many. I do had to have Lisa's narr narration up. As you can see, this part of the peaks is much higher than the northern reaches, hence why the Imperials built a Secula Imperatus where they did. See those three towers to the east? That's her. It sits right on the edge of the cliff, so attacking from the north is fool's air, and from the south, on the other hand, she's no different from any other Imperial installation. You see now why Veladina was so important, hey? Eh? Right then? Come along, we're waiting for us in Alighieri. Yeah, the map for the uh, for the peeps is weird because it's really split in half, and there's things you just can't get to without flying. Actually, I think it's probably true in a lot of parts. Okay, can I like? Can't turn in quests, but get some of this uh, discovery experience on another class. Here we are, the new base of operations for the Alliance and the Resistance. Ah, there you are. Greetings, General. I see you have been quite busy in our absence. Less than you may imagine, the Imperials fled at our coming and we took the village without a fight. Your time is impeccable. We are about to discuss our strategy to seize this, this specular Imperatus. Though we are fresh from the road, we'd be glad to attend. Good. Take a moment to gather yourselves and join us when you're ready. Take a moment to grab the Aetherite! No, nope. you heard the Flame General. Looks like we've got a meeting to attend. Took a bookkeep. Because you never know when you need it. Might be able to go to like Alagana for me. Yeah, Alagana. I can fly right over. They have black trick, but oh. Is the right crystal? Or Etherite? I'm still going to call it Aetherite. I'm like. Always gonna call it. Hi, honey. Hippin. My boo. Or Essigos' boo. <clears throat> that everyone? Then let us begin. Allegheri saw us, and with mercy, we took it without losing a single man. But we dare not grow complacent. A specular imperatus. This will not be so easily won. If I may, General, uh, should we not pause to consider the Imperial's motivations for Xenos to surrender a fortified settlement for strategic import of strategic importance without so much of firing a shot is inexplicable. We searched the village, found no traps and other signs of sabotage. Uh, suspicious though it may be, I will not refuse this gift from our enemy. 
The path to Alami goes through the east, through Specula Imperatus and Castrum Abania. Right. It bears repeating, however, that the latter is home to a massive cannon with unparalleled range and destructive power, which means that we would like to, to strike Specula Imperatus quickly, both to limit their ability to locate our forces in the field and to utilize the installation as a shield against attack, as they would doubtlessly not risk damaging the towers. I see. Then we have no choice but to accept that what we have been given. Aye, that's the way of it. I've no doubt that Xenos has got something planned, but we just have to deal with it when the time comes. To the assault, then. The main host will commence a direct assault on Specula Imperatus. It's during this time we should, I would hold the Scions in reserve as a at Alagiri to deal with any Imperial forces that may be dispatched in response. Understood. Wait a moment. We should be fighting with you in the Resistance. I understand you don't want to rely too much on us, ghost, after what he's been through, but at least let the rest of us do our part. This is Eskos here. Don't do anything too reckless, all right? Are you kidding? She wants to fight. Say, let her fight. Thanks. I knew you would understand. I'd be happy it would be best if I accompanied you. Alize can stay with Eskos. Oh, go if you must. The two of us can take care of ourselves. You have your orders. Dismissed. Meanwhile, deep within Imperial Research Facility, I think might have a video. I don't remember. Let's see. Just in case. Bring the volume up. So, she lives. Impressive. Or merely lucky, though that too may prove a useful trait. My lord, what have you done to me? Though we Garlins are intellectually and physiologically superior in almost all respects, we lack the hereditary traits required for the reliable manipulation of ether, hence our unique inability to wield magics. This deficiency, for want of a better word, saw us subjected to decades of oppression by the lesser races, and we were eventually driven to seek shelter in the cold northern reaches of Ilsabar. Fortunately, said region was replete with vast deposits of ceruleum, which proved instrumental in the development of Magitech, a revolutionary technology conceived to compensate for our disadvantage. It was with Magitech that we grew strong, that our nation became an empire. Yet, ultimately, this was an extrinsic solution to an intrinsic problem. What I wanted was not a crude device to be used in lieu of magic. Through modification of the Garlean genome, I argued that it might be possible to enhance a subject's ability to manipulate ether, effectively empowering them to wield magics. Alas, my theories were met with consternation in the Imperial Court. 
only Lord Xenos, with commendable foresight and wisdom, deigned to support my research. You gave me this treatment, but I'm not Garlean. Alamegan, through and through. What you have been granted is far greater than mere magic. Before that lesser light, it is as a second sun. I am informed that Alagiri was recently occupied by the Resistance, and that an attack on Specular Imperatoris is considered imminent. This could provide an ideal opportunity to test her performance in the field. Your... Skulls, was it? They have joined the garrison at the Watchtower? Yes, my lord. By your leave, I would rendezvous with them and lead a counter-attack against the insurgents. No. Even were you to leave now, you would not arrive in time. There is another duty I would entrust to you. Does that mean? So full of fire and ego, aren't they? Well, I wouldn't worry too much. They're strong and they have each other. At least we spared the trouble of having to speak up. I wasn't about to let Lise go alone. We have a fair bit of ground to cover, so we best split up. If you come across any Imperial soldiers, you know what to do. Oh, and so you know, I sent word to Arnvald's squadron there, already searching other nearby areas, so we have allies in the event we encounter anything beyond our means. Look, Alize, uh, I am the Icon Slayer, and... Uh, I, there's nothing beyond my means. I, I could do it. It's, it's fine. I could do it all alone. But, you know, it just makes things easier if other people are helping out. But in the end, I can stretch an area all by myself. It's fine. Yeah. I mean, for all intents and purposes, uh, uh, Lollafells don't have, like, higher-pitched voice because they're smaller or anything like that. That's, a uh, that's me, like, playing on the, the, uh, like, uh, like how, well, let me help this guy out. Doing this as a scholar, my don't worry, dude. I got this. I just want to say that I would strongly recommend that if you're wanting to like be a scholar to just the nice thing about scholar is leveling up scholar you also level up um, summoner because they're both based off of uh, Arcan the Arcanist class so I recommend that uh, when you are out fighting that you use your uh, your use summer 
instead of Scholar, because otherwise things are going to take so much longer. I'm not in your party, so your bubble's not going to really help with anything. That's okay. Uh, it's the thought that counts. Rendezvous with that Lise. Yeah, just a few Imperials. I took care of it's fine. <laughs> Oh, give me a moment, Jessica. Say that again? You would? Hmm. No, maintain your distance for now. Understood. Give me a price of any developments. I was all involved. The pair, the pair that was spying on us in the fringes was followed us here. What about you, Jessica? Any trouble? Eh, uh, just a couple of things. It was nothing. Ah, oh, there. I was thinking you might be due to some peace and quiet. Glad to hear you dealt with them. I hope the assault on the specular imperatus is going well. Oh, we still have the volume up from the videos. I think we might have some more. Uh, I'm not sure how well this is looking, though. I have to keep up with my husband. Come now, father. You lured the fool onto my blade and do not try to deny it. Our work here is all but done. What of Conrad and his men? They are for the main tower. The skulls have offered fierce resistance thus far. But Conrad seems to believe he can convince them to lay down their arms. Then we will tend to the stragglers down below. With me! I'm not gonna retreat from the... Report. Enemy forces have overrun the lower facilities and appear to be mounting an assault on the main tower. We have already received a request for reinforcements. A unit of legionaries has been mustered and is ready to depart. They await your orders, Commander. Stand down. Commander? Tell them to stand down. Commander, if I may, our people, your people, are still in there. They will be slaughtered. You think I don't know that? I want nothing more than to help them, to lead the bloody charge. But I have my orders. Lord Zeno said no reinforcements. He would have us use the main cannon to destroy the installation. What? Kill our own soldiers? You must be mistaken. Mayhap you'd like to ask Lord Xenos yourself. I thought not. Initiate the firing sequence. Wars are won on the backs of the dead. Theirs and ours. There is no truth but this. We must remain firm 
and resolute and always, always do our duty. Now, give the order. Initiate firing sequence. Aye, aye. Initiating firing sequence. Release safety locks. Deploy main cannon. I almost wonder why they haven't installed this type of main cannon and more facilities. I need you to confirm the target, Commander. Specular Imperatoris, main tower. Fire when ready. Artillery. Those treacherous bastards. Their people were still fighting. Full retreat. Now! Relay the orders! Understood. All forces retreat! I repeat, all forces retreat! For all intents and purposes, he basically just called that, that that retreat out for all forces. He didn't specify that the forces should retreat, but he also didn't exclude them because they might consider it all forces. By the twelve, did you see that main tower just collapsed? You heard it too, didn't you? Must have been the cannon from Castrum Abana. Abania. <laughs> but that was an Imperial installation, and the troops are still... Damn it, no one's responding. I don't know if the shell is being jammed, or... You have to go right now. They need, your, need our help. You have to go. This way, there's no time to lose. Oh, mount speed. Mm. Uh, I only have the fringes. They got it, it's fine. What's worse than it looks, he... He's probably... wasn't even... Pull yourself together. The gate. This is our way inside. You need to find my brother right now. Right now!
Hey, man, you're all right. Hug. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> I'm glad you're here, Lesikos. In case it isn't obvious, the Imperials fired on us by specular imperators. They didn't think they had it in them to kill their own men just to kill us. God stab them. Where's my brother? Tell me where he is. I want to see him. He was in the tower when it was struck, but that need, need not mean anything. Our forces are still evacuating, and many remain unaccounted for. Alice? Alice, listen. There are soldiers wounded and dying all around us. Soldiers and families, just like you and me. They need our help. Do you understand? He's right. I'll take the north, you take the east. For a moment there, I thought it was bound, bound by Thal's great halls. Ah, <sighs> gods, what are the Imperials thinking? Thank you. I think I think I can manage my own. Uh huh. Give me a moment to let the world stop spinning, would you? There. A Ligiri's not far. I'll make it. I'll make it. Union Temple Knight. Uh, everything hurts. I think I was struck by debris from the tower. Wait, I know you. Essekos Winsmore, Lord of Hearts Fort Orm. You fought together on the steps of faith. It saved my life back then, and now. I can walk. Thank you. A thousand times thank you. Conrad! Conrad, can you hear me? Nargo, come here. D I'm down here. <clears throat> Conrad. Conrad. Conrad, speak to me. Yo. It, it, it was all so sudden. Conrad had just convinced the last few skulls to surrender when, when, when we heard the bang and, and everything started to shake. We carried the survivors to safety, but Conrad's... We have done what we can for him. All that remains is to pray. <sighs> Conrad? Is that you, Lise? I can't... I can't see a damn thing. Well, that's that then. Time's up. What are you talking about? You'll be on your feet before you know it! Uh, it's all right, Lise. I've lived long enough. But listen, I want... I want you to lead the resistance in my stead. Don't say another word. You'll recover. We'll recover. We'll bring freedom to Alamigo together. We're not going to stop here. No, no, you won't. Everything we've built, everyone we've brought together, I know you'll show them the way. You've got it in you, Lise. Not because you're Curtis's daughter or Ida's sister, but because... 
because you're you. Because you're you. Conrad. Lead them to victory. To freedom. I will, Conrad. I will. I promise. I still get a little choked up at this scene. Meanwhile, in the chaos of Castrum Albania, next round, double the charge. Hello, Estinian. Come, Nidhogg. We are needed. That's the Cerulean Pipeline! Impossible! How could one man shoot the bastard? Shoot him! <laughs> My lance has slain far greater beasts. You're welcome, boy. He's not referring to me when he says boy. There is like a bromance between Alphano and Estinian. I can guarantee it. Two very different people, but still. He's saying boy because of Alphano, not because of me. If I was, if my gender was female during this time, he would not said you're welcome girl. The boy is Alphano. I can guarantee it. I ship Alpha Known and Estinian. <laughs> Although it's probably more of like an elder you brother sort me. of thing. I want that intruder found and get the engineers to fix my bloody cannon! You know, I had the time. We're going to come and attack Castra Mabana, Albania. Almost guaranteed, right? The savages are coming. Savages. Just because we can do magic and you can't, and you got technology, you call them the savages. Well, you know, savage for, for trying to just conquer everybody outright? I would call that savage. Diplomats. Sure. We could have killed them. We could have walked away. But instead we tried to convince them to lay down their arms. We tried to seek a peaceful resolution. We showed them mercy, and this was their response. Fire and blood. This was their answer. Such crimes cannot go unpunished. They must not. God sends my witness there will be a reckoning.
Forgive me, now is not the time for vows of vengeance. We must remain calm and rational and in control. The Imperials have demonstrated willingness to fire on their own, so long as we remain here, we are in danger. The, we three will see to Commander Kemp's body. Find my sister and return to Alagiri. Just over here. Oh, hey, what do you know? There's an Aether Current, like, right here. There, that should suffice for now. Go on and join the others. Tell me you found Alphano. Tell me he's alright. Yeah, I found Alphano, but uh, Conrad kind of kicked the bucket. <clears throat> we'll thank the Twelve. I don't know what we've done. Though, saying that, what will the Resistance do without Commander Kemp? Sorry, not here, not now. We should return to Alighieri. Keep an eye out for any wounded. You need any help on the way. Oh. That's a jumping puzzle if I ever saw one. Uh, uh, wasn't long ago I just was trying to kill you and yours. I have expected you to have slipped my throat. Else with this, she'd be back home in Ilzabad instead of taking fire from my so-called comrades. Look, how about if we take you prisoner? We'll keep you safe. We're not going to kill you. Be fine. I'll deal. let these guys deal with you. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, are you okay? Uh, here, let me let me uh, heal you up into walking shape. Thanks, friend. Bloody tourniquet came, came loose. I was having trouble getting it back on. It could be fine the rest of the way. Look, I could just, like, pop on my uh, astrologian or astrologian kick kit and just, like, heal everybody up. You know, it'll be fine. I got the mana. Or MP magic power. Oh, oh, bless you, kind. Wait, that you, I suppose? I didn't recognize you at first, but feeling a little dizzy. Must have lost a lot of blood. I, I can keep going. I can keep going. All right. Oh, I'm going to cheat. So keep in mind, I try to keep these streams to two and a half hours so that the videos, so I, I don't have to like download them and then, then edit them and then repost them. It's so much easier if I could just stop the stream. Maybe take a, a short break and start the stream back up every two and a half hours. <laughs> so I think two and a half hours is probably a decent amount of time. We're getting about 2.20, so we'll probably be... I'm going to see if I can find a nice stopping point here. Anyways, Esco, so I've given over Commander Kemp's uh, remains for safekeeping. We've given over Commander Kemp's remains for safekeeping. Later, I, I have no idea when rights must needs be performed. For now, however, we must carry on, we must rest forward, we must not give in to despair. Where am I on my on this list? 
And I even see my main quest because my main source for determining this. Er, one up fine. There we go. Uh, it's more blood main story quests. We are at for the living and the dead. Oh, jeez. We have less than 20 quests, but we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen quests to do. And one, two, three duties. Anyways. All lines of resistance units are now withdrawn uh, from Speculate Imperatus. It's time we spoke with uh, General Aldin. How close are we to the next? Uh... Oh, we got a few more quests, so I might find a good stopping point here. <laughs> I think there should be a nice one soon. These nests weigh heavy on my soul. Commander Kemp's most of all. He was a wise leader. He was a patriot. Above all else, he was a good man who was sorely missed. One of many lost this day. I asked for a moment's silence to pray for the souls of the departed. We'll go. We have suffered a grievous defeat, but we, will, we cannot and will not renounce this cause. The die has been cast. Hold tight to this grief, this anger, and let it drive you forward. Let it be your strength and your shield when next you face the enemy. It will carry us far, General. For that, I have no doubt. May we take another step towards Uns Alamigo, however, we, we must first address the question of how to deal with Catherine Albani's question. Uh, Cannon. If the Imperials are willing to employ the weapon without thought of their own soldier's safety, we must struggle to approach them. A frontal assault is out of the question. We would lose countless men before we would reach the walls. Would we? Recall that the Imperials would have obliterated our forces had they kept firing, neglected to do so. They had no strategic reason to cease fire, which begs the question, why did they? You suspect that they were unable to fire the cannon again, may have to, to malfunction. Or one of their officers found their conscience after the first barrage. Well, I hear a heretofore unknown resistance faction chose that moment to disable it. There are many possibilities, but the fact remains that they stopped when logic dictated they continue. Then I'll just have to go and see for myself if the cannon's still operational. Are you mad? Conrad put you in charge of the resistance, since you can't risk losing another commander so soon. I know how you feel, Narco, I do, but I need you to understand. It wasn't long after Papa Limo and I arrived at Rauka's Reach that Conrad had first asked me to join the resistance, and then he kept on asking. Every time I said no, I told him it was because of the Scions. But even then, I knew deep down that it was an excuse, that I was, was still afraid of following my heart because I couldn't be sure if it was for me or for Ida. And then I met someone on the other side of the world who had struggled with the same worries. And as we traveled and fought together, I saw him grow and become the leader his people needed him to be. And now it's my turn to do the same. There's not a lot of us left, and for the what of the ones that are, many are still wounded. We have to make do with what we've got, and I'm the best qualified. It's as simple as that. And don't worry, Nago, I'll come back, I promise. While I acknowledge Commander Hex's uh, right to carry out this mission, I see no reason why she should do so alone. Eskos, would you go with her? Would have done it even if you hadn't asked, sir. <laughs> well, somebody's got to keep her out of harm's way. Um, 
I suppose somebody's going to keep her out of harm's way. And it's settled. We will wait to return. Sorry to drag you into this, Essegos. It may not be the decision Conrad would have made, but I'm not Conrad. I never will be. I don't know what kind of leader he was hoping for, but right now all I can do is be myself. I mean, perfectly reasonable. I if you don't mind, I'd rather not wait around and have people try to talk me out of it. Let's get, get moving. I know a good vantage point overlooking the castrum. Young Kemp's Hope. A ship stranded on the rocks in the east of here. It shouldn't take lo take us long to get there. Oh, and there might be some ancient golems guarding it. Or that might have been an old wise tale. Either way, it's worth risk. <laughs> Peace, Commander. I pray you proceed with all due caution. Do not hesitate to call upon us if needed. To reach a ship, we'll need to scale the, the cliff face. I'll get some climbing gear and meet you there, all right. I'll let you deal with the golems. So the question comes to, why the hell is there a ship on top of a rock this high in the peaks? Well, that's because there was a uh, calamity that happened during a uh, long time ago, um, which flooded most of the world. Remember the fact that we had the uh, six... Uh, Yeah, everything's fine. Let's just wait here for Lace. I probably would have like gotten on top of a rock, just lean back and relax. The way she goes, hey, there's this guy guardian be standing there, and just be like, "Oh, what took you so long?" <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. I see you've met the golems. Looks like the old stories are true. In a way, I'm glad. Right then, time to climb. Although we're monks, uh, we can scale walls. It's fine. We just, we barely even need a little handhold. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, uh, Took a bit more out of me than I expected. Yeah, it was easy. And here she is. The young Kemp's Hope. The ark that one man made to save countless... Others from the flood during the Sixth Umbral Era. It's comforting to think that there has always been people who cared that much for our fellow man, who accompanied such great feats that people couldn't help thinking that they must, must be made up. But the proof's right here, isn't it? I don't just mean the ship, you know. I mean you. Long before anyone started calling you a hero, you were there for those in need. You didn't think of people when, when you didn't have to. Sometimes even when they didn't want you to. It can't have been easy staying true to yourself, but you're all better for it, me included. I'll never be a leader like Conrad, or Hien, or my father. But I can be a friend to you, you all, and I can fight by your side. I can be me, and that's just to have to be enough, eh? Strange to think back on it. We had been standing in different places, or if the shell had struck the tower differently. It would have been me instead of Conrad. Maybe both of us. What kind of monster murders their own? 
Ah, that smoke from Castor and Albania? Wait, that's coming from the cannon. Can't tell what happened from here, but I can tell that it won't be giving us any trouble in the immediate future. This is our chance, Essegos, to avenge Conrad and all the others who died in the tower, friend and foe. To take Castor and Albania and bring the bastards who gave the order to fire to justice. It won't be easy after the losses we struck, but I know uh, everyone's champing at the champing at the bit to, to strike back. Right plan. I'm certain we can do it. We have to tell the others. Come on. Easier down than up, eh? Though, not necessarily safer. Anyway, no time to rest. We need to convince the others to strike now before the Imperials have time to fix their cannon. I don't have any of those. There's no time to lose, Eskos. General Aldean needs to know what we saw. Why are you going that way? The customs. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. It is. Never mind. We were a slightly different position. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do the quick on and off sort of thing for for the stream so that we cut the video. I think this is a, this is a good enough stopping point. I'm going to get up, stretch my legs, and come right back in uh, just a minute or two. But um, I, I'm doing this. For editing purposes for for YouTube, so we'll be back with part three of the Storm of Blood, and then uh, I'll probably stop for a while while I do uh, the actual main comes out loud show and play some D and D, and then maybe back for some late night streaming. So stay followed to get notifications. <laughs>